Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out a 2015 Nissan Pathfinder. And this is the Platinum trim level in pearl white. And if you're looking for a seven passenger vehicle, definitely want to consider this one. Um, this one in particular is the four wheel drive, and it also has a towing package with a 5,000 pound towing capacity. So uh, it's definitely a, a good travel vehicle for the whole family, and um, so I, I think it's amazing. But you know, if you have any experience with one of these, let me know. Um, long, you know, going on a trip with it or anything like that. It's, uh, it's I'm impressed with it. But so let's go ahead and check it out. Here in the front, we've got um, no projector headlights on this one. And I'm not sure if they're halogens or what kind of headlights these are. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't show on the window sticker. But um, but those have the fog lights as well. Kind of close up there. Maybe somebody knows about the, uh, the technology on the headlights. But here's the front. And this one, uh, you know, this vehicle is more of a, it doesn't have a real aggressive look like the, the Murano or the Rogue. This is kind of a traditional look, I guess, uh, SUV. It doesn't have a huge stance off the ground. It um, has a fairly decent stance, really easy to get in and out of stance. At least that's what I call it. It does have the 20 inch aluminum wheels. Bridgestone tires, this one has. And the four wheel disc brakes. It's got the privacy glass. This one has the dual pane sunroofs there with a the luggage rack. So let me go ahead and get the key out. This one does have the, uh, the remote start here. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. So I'm going to push, make sure it's locked. I push the lock button and push and hold the startup button there. So now that it started, I'm going to go ahead and unlock it with the key. I can just walk up and with the key in my pocket. This is an intelligent key. It senses, the car senses the key when it's nearby. So I could just literally push that button and unlock the door. But I'm going to go ahead and unlock the entire car by go ahead and um, pushing the, the unlock button here on the remote twice. And I'm going to put the key back in my pocket. So here's the window sticker before I go too much further. In case you want to use the pause button and check it out. So here's the inside of the front passenger side. Shotgun as people call it. <laughs> you want to ride shotgun? Here you go. Now this one has the tan interior. It does have a little bit of wood grain accents there. And some uh, very soft, everything, everything in here is soft it feels like. Um, you know, even up here. But it has tons of room here in the front. It does have a power seat. Uh, this side doesn't have any lumbar support. The driver's side does. You have the carpeted, carpeted mats here that say Pathfinder on them. Got a storage pocket there on the left side, left knee area. Now the glove compartment is pretty interesting. It's compartmentalized where you have like a little shelf system in there. Goes in there a mile it looks like. So, uh, but definitely would be a little bit of a uh, an idea to keep stuff right here where that you need to access and then, you know, because really digging back there that looks like it can get really cluttered and, you know, maybe... Um, and also, it goes down and kind of gets in the way of the knees, it looks like, a little bit for the person riding shotgun there. So I guess it, it'll just go down and rest on their knees and they can dig through there trying to find what they want. It does have the illuminated uh, Pathfinder. You know, this is a, a protective film here. So this comes off and this is illuminated. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do some uh, at night videos uh, on these fairly soon so you can get an idea of what they look like at night. Alright, so here's the interesting stuff here is where all the rest of the people are going to sit besides the driver and passenger there in the front. 
you got more passenger room here in the back you got a bottle holder here on the door everything's high quality just as the front and this one has the uh, the DVDs in DVD screens there in the headrests so you have um, you have those two for the second row and I guess the third row can look over their shoulders and watch it too but um, that's there now this seat right here you can see these seats slide forward and back this one's all the way forward that one's all the way back so that way you can get an idea of the the uh, the different um, adjustability on these seats another thing that's pretty cool here is um, these are reclining Let's see if I can do it with one hand there they will recline as well as the third row seat so the second and third and first all all the seats in this vehicle will recline so so you can kind of get that just right seating position especially on long trips so you can adjust um, you know for more or less leg room here in the front it does fold flat too but um, and also now because the back a little bit limited on the leg room there um, you know for one thing the floorboard is kind of shallow compared to the seat so if you have a little bit of uh, long legs or something your knees are going to be in the air so basically the third row seems to be more for like children and stuff so let's go ahead and put this seat all the way back so you can see that there's plenty of leg room here in the front um, you know the floorboard is a little bit shallow so uh, compared to the seat so you're you know if you got long legs your knees will be a little bit high up all right so uh, this does have a center console that um, armrest here with some cup holders and little little pocket there and here's your controls for your climate control for the rear passengers as well as some heated seats back here the front are heated and cooled the back are just heated so you've got um you also have little volume buttons here so you can adjust the volume you can plug in headphones here but it also has a uh, it comes with wireless headphones so um, you can either plug them in or you know do the wireless thing so there's your your volume switches there going in and out and you also have these uh, RCA inputs here the uh, audio and, and video inputs uh, for you know different devices to connect to and of course this is a uh, AC adapter here so you can plug in stuff and charge it really handy for laptops and all kinds of different things that you need to charge or power it is only 150 watts so it's not like it's gonna power a you know like a hairdryer or anything like that so you can see this does have the tan leather interior got the perforations here in the center and in the back and like say if you need to access the third row it's got this convenient handle here lift it up and it kind of sandwiches up the seat like so and that gives you a little bit of a you know step here so it's got this plastic threshold here so you can step right there and climb in and the third row does have some cup holders here and pretty good pretty high headrests and uh, that bag there is your um, the uh, the remote control and headphones and different accessories. Plenty of leg room, and also you got that panoramic sunroof there, which I'll show you that in a few minutes. Just going to put this back. All right. So now moving on to the back. here um, you've got your one thing that stands out right away it doesn't I mean it's it, it's not uh, ugly or anything but there's your uh, trailer hitch it also has the seven-way plug here and you've got your sonar sensors back here for backing up it'll let you know if you get close to something in case you have a I mean it does have the around view monitor too so you got the sonar sensors you got the around view monitor backup camera all that good stuff so you shouldn't have any problem seeing at low um, seeing out back when you're parking or whatever so you got a four-wheel drive and then you got the platinum badge on this side pathfinder and then the grand strand nissan going on there all right so let's say you walk up to it you can just take out the key you don't have to use the key to do this um, there is a button 
and it has a little label there showing you where the button is but I'm gonna go ahead and use the key and uh, so basically you walk into the vehicle and you just push and hold the, the button here and it'll open up the back and that way you can put your groceries or whatever you want to put back here cargo air stuff now as you can see um, this third row seat does take up quite a bit of room back here um, so if you don't have any third row passengers of course you can fold those down first of all you'd have to put, pull that which unlocks the headrest and folds it down and then you've got this thing here handle you just kind of push it down lifting it up you just reach over and grab the strap and lift it up but I'm gonna leave it down for a second just so you can get an idea of the, um, the cargo space there now you know of course you can have a passenger and cargo space same thing with the second row um, this is a 50 50 that's a 60 40 there so um, you have some tie downs here got these little things little hook things to stick out in case you I guess for like grocery bags or whatever they do have them on the back of the seats as well you get a power supply now they've got four power supplies total in this vehicle so that's uh, pretty handy this is the front back the bracket for the front license plate if you wanted to use that so under here is a little bit more cargo area but um, it also has this one has the premium Bose sound system so this has got a wave uh, acoustic wave system you know you know those uh, those Bose what Bose wave radios that they advertise on TV and stuff and people talk about well this has a similar system as that um, to where it gives you that nice deep sound to the music and um, this is one of the secret weapons to that right there all right so um, moving on to close it I don't have to use the key I could use the key but I can also push this button here and they'll close it right down all right let me get a little bit of a broader look at it so you can see the contours and everything what's interesting about this vehicle is that it's a pretty it's a seven passenger very lots of room and everything but it just doesn't look like some big cumbersome SUV uh, I guess part of it is the height it's not a you know really high off the ground or anything like that but um, but it, sometimes the really huge SUVs are just kind of kind of ridiculous looking and um, so that's why I kind of like the way this looks it just kind of has a more of a normal SUV look but all the room as, as a big one so anyways uh, all that's about the same there and uh, so we do have the heated side mirrors here on the side and here's the cockpit inside of the driver's door here you got the bottle holder just like the other doors you got the presets and that'll preset for the seat the steering wheel and the side mirrors and I think if I'm not mistaken the radio stations but I might be wrong about that please correct me if I'm wrong now this is your um, your, your window you know automatic uh, window controls here they're automatic in the front and then the back ones you have to hold them you just push and hold it down or up and and that way uh, it'll go all the way up and down the door locks are here uh, this button when you push that that locks out all these windows here except for the drivers side so that just remember that if you can't get the windows up and down um, you might have that button pu button pushed this is your side mirror controls so like you push it to the left you can adjust your side mirror push it to the right same thing put it in the middle so you don't accidentally uh, adjust your mirrors when you don't want to this one does have the blind spot monitoring system and there's a little indicator light right here uh, when there's a vehicle in your blind spot it'll, it'll illuminate orange now if there's a vehicle in your blind spot and you turn your turn signal on it'll illuminate red and alert you in the car so uh, it does have a good way of you know kind of letting you know that uh, you know there's somebody there so which is handy definitely don't want to get an accident so here's your driver's seat it does have the you know the power up and down 
so like a dentist chair you can really fine tune it and uh, go forward and back of course and this is your back and this is your lumbar support right here alright so um, before I get into the seat here there's a whole bunch of buttons down here and um, it's it's kind of an interesting place to put a bunch of buttons um, I guess this a lot of this stuff is you know maybe not used all the time uh, except for the ones here on the top uh, we'll start down here this is a blank button but this one right here is your um, is basically your uh, your blind spot monitoring system there and uh, over here is your tow mode see you can turn this on or off basically your tow mode you can turn that on and off uh, your power supply back there the one um, the 110, uh, 115 volt power supply, you can you have to turn that off to use it. It's not all the way always on unless that switch is on. Alright, so uh, the power door, um, that you can turn off. Now, if you just want to you know, manually open that power door in the back, you can turn it off. Um, so, so, like, say, if, I, I'm not sure why, maybe, like, say, if... Um, it could be to say if you have a low ceiling in your garage or something like that and you want to lift it up a certain height. Now you do have the ability to um, manually adjust that. Uh, basically you lift it up to the height you want, push the button, hold it, it will remember that height. So um, you know, maybe you can fill me in on why you'd want to turn that power door off. Uh, so this is the button to actually turn, open up the door. This is your heated steering wheel, and this is your traction control button. Uh, you can turn that off. Default is on when you start the vehicle, and you can push that to turn it off. This one does have the adjustable telescoping power tilting joystick thing here for the, for the steering wheel. So let me go ahead and get in here. Now you notice the vehicle is off. Uh, that is because it only runs uh, for a certain amount of time and turn off. It's not going to run all day. It's not going to burn all your gas out. Okay, so give you an idea of what it sounds like. How quiet it is. It's letting me know that I have to push the brake, which I will do. Push the brake and then push the start button. That's how you start it. Um, when you get in the vehicle. As long as you have the key in your pocket, you never really have to take it out. Unless you want to use the, some of the buttons there. Alright, so we'll start here with the steering wheel. This is a leather wrap steering wheel, stitching on the inside. And uh, let me see here, get the air conditioner blowing on here. And you can see that it is uh, color matched with the seats. Uh, some cars and truck, you know, vehicles have basically just one color steering wheel and then they just change the color of the seats or whatever. Uh, Nissan, you know, they give you dashboards, um, they give you doors, they give you uh, the seats, the carpet. If you want tan interior, you get tan interior. There's just not like just changing the color of the seats. So, um, so you got the tan steering wheel and um, you can see it's a pretty pretty it has a little bit of a give to it so it's not too uh, doesn't wear your hand out now it is very grippy um, some of the leather wrap steering wheels are kind of like too smooth to me this one feels like you can get a really good grip to it but um, okay so it does have some buttons here there's no buttons on the back of the steering wheel it's all here on the front this is your cruise control uh, you can set it and you can adjust your speed here and on the left side here We've got your, once you pair, pair your phone with the Bluetooth system, you can uh, sit, make and receive calls here with this, um, this button here. This is your voice recognition. You push that and there's a certain amount of commands that you can, you can say, such as um, tune to a certain station or call a certain person, uh, certain, stuff like that. This right here, uh, source and the arrows, the, the plus and negative, that, this is your volume for your radio. Source is uh, like say AM, FM, satellite radio, CD, USB, all those things. You can push that and it kind of cycles through. And up here, uh, these buttons here, um, let me show you something. Here's the, 
the gauges okay so you got your RPMs there to the left and then your speedometer there to the right and gas gauge and all that stuff uh, and it's showing what gear it is in the middle but you see that little screen here right in here this is basically an information screen and you can push these buttons here this one right here specifically and I'm gonna kinda push that and kinda just cycle through um, like it's right now it's telling you you know what percent the uh, front or wheel rear wheels are um, are engaged and uh, that might be handy is like say in the automatic section um, now once I get to a menu here where you can scroll up and down you can use this button here to scroll uh, scroll through the different options and you can choose what you want all right and I'm going to push the menu button again and you can see uh, this is like a you know visual representation of your vehicle going down the road and this is where you would get like alerts and stuff uh, for the uh, basically for the um, like say if you had a vehicle in your blind spot or something like that or met lane departure too uh, it'll give you lane departure warnings as well all right so basically um, see that gives you more information there and then um, this is your trip tire pressures they won't show up when you're just idling you do have to you know start driving and it'll show up there because when it's when you first start the vehicle and it's just sitting there they're not going to be accurate and they don't want you to um, get interact, inaccurate information so at any time you can go back is the back button here so anyways um, there's the steering wheel you do have an automatic headlight setting here and the windshield wiper controls are there they do have one on the back as well you can reset your trip with this big button here can't overlook that and then you have your um, your buttons here these two buttons are for your dimmer switches so you can have more or less illumination on your gauges nice big buttons easy to find there all right so and this air conditioner blowing the other way here okay so here's the 8 inch touchscreen that Nissan has and um, it's pretty cool right now we are in you know basically the radio screen and um, so I'm gonna just kind of show you there's some buttons down here and uh, basically you can you can navigate what your way through the, the different system here so um, so right now I'm going to just kind of you know show you now you can push the button here or you can navigate through this arrow screen right here so I'm going to hit back I'm going to hit back there or I can hit back down here so there's a little bit of redundant buttons there and um, so let me go ahead and hit the let's go to the map screen there's lots of buttons down here I'm just trying to choose which one let's hit map so we can see what the map looks like and uh, right now we have you know you can change this to a like say an angled map right now we're you know top down looking I'm trying to keep the camera steady here but okay so I'm going to go ahead and go back out of that, which, well, it's not going to let me go back. I just have to change here. So I'm going to hit root. This will go me, this will take me to a screen where I can enter in a, um, like a specific address and, um, I could, you know, change route settings, stuff like that. Like say to avoid traffic or something. Uh, you can put in a specific destination here and, uh, it's got like a different region there. It's got California now, but, um, you can change that now camera button I'm gonna push that this is awesome this is the around view camera that uh, Nissan has this is um, basically right now it's showing in front of the vehicle on the left side because I don't I'm not in reverse I'm in just park so when I go forward I can kind of see uh, you know what's what's in front of me when I'm driving slow I think it you can go up to six miles per hour while looking at these uh, cameras and on the right this is really awesome uh, it looks like it has a camera underneath both rearview mirrors front and back 
So it gives you a literally an, a round view of the car. And it kind of looks like there's a camera about 50 feet above you looking straight down. And you can see the camp, that flag is waving there to the right and you can see the shadows around the vehicle. And um, you can see they don't exactly line up perfectly but it gives you a really good representation of where you're at. So when you put it in reverse, I'm going to put it in reverse now, um, it just changes to the rear screen. So now we're in the back, you know, backup mode there. But you still have that around view on the right. Now if I push, um, I'm going to go ahead and put it back in park. Now I'm going to push the camera button again. And now it's going to focus, it's still aiming to the front, but now it's going to focus the right uh, view here on the front right tire, the passenger side. So basically right now, um, I'm going to turn the wheel just so you can see what I'm talking about. You see that wheel popping out there? So you can get right up on the curve, curb I mean, or you can uh, you know, parallel park like a boss with that camera. Um, that is a really awesome feature because that's kind of like you really can't really tell from sitting in the driver's side how close you are um, to things. So this gives, you can literally be right to the inch of something and know that you're not going to hit it. Very, very handy. Of course, you can always push this again and go back to the, um, to the round view which is a little bit less precise on the corners that's why it has the the sonar system but um you know it really gives you a, a good a good way to to navigate through a parking lot without messing up your awesome new car all right so um so that's the kind of the basics uh there's you know there's a lot of stuff going on with this screen of course you've got you know the satellite radio and um you know navigation and then um different things like that let me go ahead and get rid of that and go back here. But anyways, um, lots of cool stuff there. Now, and then you've got the, the buttons that control that. This is where your CD player, this will also, CD player will also play DVDs, and that's where you play the DVDs in the back. Um, and you got the AM, FM, satellite radio. Uh, you can once you put a you know like a CD or whatever in there, then you you it'll pop up the information to uh, to change through uh, the tracks and everything. But um, you know the basic controls there. You can tune through it. Volumes right there, as well as on the steering wheel. Now below here is your uh, your climate control. We do have air conditioning, uh, the defroster in the front and then the back and uh, basically mode changes, I'm going to push mode to show you, it pops up on the screen it changes where you want the air to blow and then you know of course your temperatures pop up there when I, when I change the, the knob there I can turn it and it kind of gives me different options there so and then your fan speed is here, temperature on the right and left you can right now it's on dual. Um, I can always turn dual off to where they're synced, both temp, same, temp, same temperature on both sides. All right, there's two power supplies back in there. They're kind of hard to see because they're black and they kind of blend in, but here they are. Maybe you can see them better that way. Pretty good, nice pocket here. And um, so moving on here to the center console, let me get my phone out. Here's my phone, it's the Note 4. And uh, basically I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here and see if it fits, and it fits perfectly. So there's one place to put my phone. And I know this is a large phone, so um, it's not gonna fit in the cup holders, which is a little bit disappointing. And it could be, I mean, the case on it, but of course you have to have a case on your phone pretty much. But, uh, so that's pretty much where I gotta put the phone is in there, um, so I guess, that's how that rolls on this car. I guess I could put it in here. Let's see if it'll fit in this center console. And it does. And so I can, you know, run a wire out there and plug it in and charge it. So I guess I can put it in there too. This is your center console. It has two portions. This small portion there. And uh, to, to tell you which, which side is which, it has these two buttons. You notice one has a texture on it. That's for the big butt pocket, and then there we got this little one here with no texture. 
Um, I mean, they're both the same size, so I guess the texture kind of helps out there. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the big pocket with the textured button. And this is where you find a power supply as well as a USB input and some, um, some RCA inputs there. And then a junk drawer to put stuff. Now, I guess if you put stuff in there, it's going to kind of, it might, you know, fill up and, and cover up those, uh, those controls there. So you would definitely want to keep this power supply lid closed so stuff doesn't like get in there and short it out especially pennies or i think it's dimes or something like that it'll do that all right so here's the rear view mirror it does have your home link buttons here for your garage do door controls as well as uh, on and off for your auto dim rear view mirror there's a place to put some sunglasses there's a light there little led lights for interior lights so I'm going to show you something cool. I'm going to lean my chair back so we can kind of maybe get a better look here. Because <clears throat> this one's got this one has the sunroof here as well as one back there. So I'm going to start with the one back there, and um, there's a button here. So I'm going to open that up, and that way you can. You know, feel less claustrophobic in the back. And then this button here opens up. This is actual sunroof here that you can open up and um, and close it. You can also vent it. Um, but say the but the shade is manual, which of course this one back there can't really reach it so I guess it's got the uh, the button there for the shade so I'm going to go ahead and close it I apologize for moving the camera around so much it's kind of awkward position here to show you the ceiling all right so the visors uh, it's a neat little place to put like your registration or your driver's license up here there's a light mirror same thing on that side All right, I skipped over something. Um, this right here is your four-wheel drive knob. And basically this one has a four-wheel drive. Basically you can just put it in two-wheel drive. Or you can switch it to auto like that. Or you can put it to uh, four-wheel drive lock. And that will lock it in um, four-wheel drive, like non-stop four-wheel drive. So, um, you know, auto is more, it's more passive. Um, you basically can put an auto and it'll, I mean, the computer's pretty smart and it kind of knows when you need four-wheel drive and not. So it can engage and disengage as it needs to uh, without um, using too much, uh, you know, not overdoing it. And of course you can stay in two-wheel drive if you want. Now this button right here is your downhill descent button. This is for off-road use only, so when you're going down a hill uh, that's kind of slippery surfaces or uh, ro loose rocks or gravel or something like that, and it's pretty steep, you can go ahead and push that, and it'll um, it'll take you down that hill uh, at a slow speed at a more safe, safely. Uh, I I'm sure it's not going to like you know keep you from sliding down like a slick ice or anything like that, but it you know it does. Um, you kind of have to try it out. I'm not really sure how to explain it. Maybe there's a video somewhere of somebody trying that out. If there is, and you know of it, please share it in the comments. It's always good to see better than just hear about it. Alright, so let's look under the hood and see that 3.5 liter V6. Now this one does have the um, 3.5 liter V6 with the uh, VVT system. It's a little bit more advanced, and I can't remember the exact name, but uh, I'll look at the window sticker and show you. And it also has a uh, continuously variable transmission, uh, CVT is what they're commonly known as, and so it keeps you at the right gear ratio so you can stay within the engine's power band. And if you're not really sure what that is, um, check out my video. A video series called Ask the Engineer Student. He goes through 
and uh, explains uh, the, what the power band is and what gear ratios are and all that good stuff. So under here, uh, you can actually see some engine here. It's the 3.5 liter V6, which uh, Nissan puts in a lot of stuff. And you see everything is um, secure. All the cables are secure. Um, there's no nothing loose and um, in the you know, very very tidy under the hood. And you got some noise dampeners and stuff like that around the hood and also underneath here. All right, let me show you on the window sticker something that I cannot remember. Continuous Valve Timing Control System, CVTCS. So, I'm not an expert on that, so if you know anything about that, share it in the comments or share a video explaining that, um, what the difference between that and just VVT. Continuous Valve Timing Control System. I don't know if that's any different from VVT or not, just let me know. Um, but it does have the Xtronic CVT uh, continuously variable transmission, and that basically, like I said, it, um, it you know it has more more than just a few gears. I mean, it, it doesn't really have specific gears. It has um, the ability to change the gear ratio on the fly. So anyway, if you have any questions, have anything to add, um, if there's anything that um, I skipped over or got wrong, please correct me in the comments. And if there's any anything I can. Um, do to improve my videos uh, just let me know in the comments as well Grand Strand Nissan it's a really really awesome dealership if you ever ever come to Myrtle Beach on vacation or if you're in the Myrtle Beach area definitely check them out um, if you're on vacation you can stop by here you can get yourself a vehicle and upgrade and drive home in a new vehicle and I'm sure they'll pick you up at the airport too if you'd like to do that so anyways um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time